Today we are working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 1998 model. And what we're doing today is we are troubleshooting this light right here. Why is it on? When that light flashes, it's telling us we have low coolant in the engine. So we got to get in there today and see what the problem is. First thing we want to do is check the coolant in the pressure tank right here. We want the vehicle to be cold when we do it because we want to open a cap and look in and see what the level is. See the seam right here on the tank? That's the maximum coolant level right there. Right here on the side of the tank is text that shows you where the max and minimum level is. It says minimum level about an inch below this seam is the minimum level. Now, if the level is correct, well, the next thing we need to do is check the sensor inside the tank. So we want to remove our windshield washer tank right here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Get that out of the way. And then we'll lift up on our tank right here. Now we need to remove this electrical connector right here by squeezing this piece, taking that off. Now put that wire out of the way, make sure it doesn't hit the engine. And we can put our tank right up there like that. Now, if you look right down here, you can see the wires going to this blue connector right here. That is where the sensor is. So we'll use this long screwdriver right here. And we'll pry the little lock over to the side. And there's our connector right there. Now the test we're going to do is we're going to take a jumper and jump the two pins of the connector we took off. Now what that will do is bypass the sensor inside the tank. Now after we do that, if the light goes out, well then that's the problem. The sensor is either dirty or it's malfunctioning. All right, we want that wire to stay right there. So we're gonna take a little rag here. Hold that in place. Here's our little jumper, little paper clip. Just like that. Now we're gonna start up the engine. Okay, we got our jumper in place. Now we're gonna start it up. Okay, bulb check looks good. Let's start it up. Hey, hey, light is out. So if you see that, that's the problem right there. There's something wrong with that sensor. So if the little jumper right here put the light out, well, then the next step would be to take the tank off, make sure it's cold, and clean out the tank with some dishwashing. And that, you put the dishwashing liquid in there and clean that up, and hopefully that float in there will unstick and then it will work. If not, well then you'll have to replace the whole unit because there's something wrong. Car temperature light flashing red possible causes. Should I drive a car if the temperature light is flashing red? What does car red coolant light mean? Car coolant light comes on, but the car is not overheating. Car temperature light comes up at the cold start, but goes away after a restart. When the car temperature light comes on or starts to flash, you need to stop, allow the engine to cool down, and check the cooling level. Follow this guide on how to check the car engine coolant level. If your car temperature light is flashing, it means the coolant level is low, or the coolant level sensor is faulty. On the other hand, if the temperature light is always on, not flashing, it usually means the engine is overheating. Either way, do not drive if the coolant temperature light stays on or is flashing. If you do decide to drive, make sure the engine is not overheating. Sometimes car temperature light flashes intermittently. For example, the temperature light flashes when you first start the car, but stops flashing after the engine is warmed up or if the engine is restarted. 
If the car runs great with no overheating issues, the problem usually is electrical such as a faulty temperature sensor mounted on the coolant reservoir. Pull over as soon as it is safe to do so and turn off the engine. Allow the engine to cool down, then check the engine coolant level. If the engine coolant level is low, add engine coolant. Restart the vehicle and check if the temperature light has turned off. If the temperature light keeps flashing, check if the cooling fan is spinning by looking at it. Do not touch the cooling fan. Possible causes. Car temperature light for any of the following reasons. Defective coolant level sensor. Coolant level is low. Other possible but less likely causes include. Engine is overheating. Damaged wire harness to a temperature sensor. Faulty ECU. Bad sender for the temp sender. Typically, when your car temperature light stays on or is flashing, you will not get a DTC code if you read codes with a generic OBD2 scanner. Instead, use a car OBD2 scanner. Follow this guide on how to diagnose car engine problems. Should I drive a car if the temperature light is flashing red? No. Do not drive if the temperature light is flashing. If the engine overheats and you continue to drive, you will cause expensive damage to the engine. You may blow a head gasket, or the engine may seize up. Car temperature light most likely is flashing due to a faulty temperature sensor, but there is no way of knowing what is wrong without diagnosing the problem. If it is an electrical issue, the car may run fine, but you need to get the car diagnosed first. If you are not sure, see an auto mechanic. We do not recommend that you drive the vehicle, call a mechanic, and ask for advice. What does car red coolant light mean? If the red coolant light stays on when the engine is running, it means that the engine control unit, ECU, has detected a cooling system problem. The engine may have overheated, or a sensor is operating out of range. In some rare cases, car red coolant light may flash or stay on due to an electrical problem such as a faulty ECU or instrument cluster, but those problems are rare. Car coolant light comes on, but the car is not overheating? One of the most common problems with the vehicles is that the coolant light comes on or flashes, but the car is not overheating. This problem is usually caused due to a faulty temperature sensor or a damaged wire harness. Car temperature light comes up at the cold start, but goes away after a restart. You most likely have a low engine coolant level. After the engine is started and the coolant warms up, the coolant level on the reservoir can rise, which is enough to turn off the temperature light. If the coolant level is correct, replace the sensor on the engine coolant reservoir. In many cases, the sensor is integrated into the coolant reservoir and requires the whole reservoir to be replaced. If the temperature light stays on, read the fault codes with a car scanner. Also, check the voltage at the sensor connector. Typically, you should get 5 volts with the engine on, 